explain the difference between post-traumatic stress and shell shock? Yeah, sure. Um, we looked at uh, the war pension records of, of, of very, several hundred uh, people suffering from, from who, who were getting pensions for, for, for shell shock. And if you take, you know, if I asked you, well, let me ask you, what do you think is the characteristic symptom of post-traumatic stress disorder as we talk about it today? What's, what's the thing that immediately comes to mind? Flashbacks. Flashbacks, exactly, yeah, flashbacks. The idea that you're walking along a street, you hear a car backfire, and it's like you're back in Nam. Okay, that's the classic flashback. Well, of, in all of these records, we found but one that could possibly be a flashback. They simply don't mention it. They really don't mention it. And in literature, we find only one, which is in Robert Graves' Goodbye for All That. He describes flashbacks, but given that he later on admitted that he'd made most of it up, you know, we're not quite sure how that is. So they didn't organize their traumatic memories in that way. So they didn't have that symptom. And we argued, and we can't prove this, the reason is that after the war is the great time of cinema. And if you see a war film, they always use the flashback because it's a very easy thing to do. And, you know, you think of most of the great war films, they're based around flashbacks. And we think that as people go to the mass cinema, they start to change their views of memory, their traumatic memories change. So in the First World War, they talk about nightmares, they talk about shaking, they talk about being unmanly, that's mentioned quite a bit, whatever that may mean, um, and so on, tears and so on. But they don't describe what we now think is the characteristic symptom of PTSD. Culture changes. People change. Psychiatric disorders are not set in stone. Okay? They're not like cancer. There's just cancer, and it's just what it is. They change according to the environment they're in and, and the people that affect them. And we would argue that culture has changed, and the disorder known as shell shock has disappeared. And along with the word, uh, in, in, as in medicine, we don't see that anymore. We see different things.